Hello, all you imps, pixies, and other fine fae folk. It's me, Michelle, the Hobby Hobbit. Uh, this is a channel where we play with different kinds of artsy crafty things, but we are master of none. To those of you who have just come across my channel, I would love it if you would consider giving me a like and a subscribe. It helps my baby channel grow. To those of you who have subscribed and have come back, hi, how are you? How you doing? Welcome back. Right, in my description box, I've got a list of different things uh, that I like, product I like, channels to support, channels to uh, inspire. Hang on just a minute. My cat is going nuts, though. Bug! Come on, Bug. No crying to go out in five minutes. I know, I know. How dare I? How dare I put you on the other side of the door from me? Sorry about that, guys. Now back to intro. My scrap cabin shop. This is Erin. She has graciously gifted my viewers with a 10% coupon code. Simply use Hobbit10. Do note if she has a higher discount in place, do not use my code. Um, it's just going to raise your price because her discount is already higher. Okay. Fabby Art Studio, beautiful, beautiful printables. The Junk Journal Studio, sweet labels. And Vintage Paper by Design. This is June. Until the 31st, she has a 50% off of everything in her store except for the mystery stamp boxes. Those are a flat rate, $75. That includes shipping. You get 28 stamp sets and eight or nine stamp and die sets. Uh, use code Xmas50 to get that code or that 50% off on everything else. Yeah. Okay. So I recently saw Denise Junk Journals do a really cool frame using book pages and vellum. And that got me thinking, well, what else can you do with vellum? I've never really played with it that much. So I thought, well, let's just try it out and see what happens. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut these down into smaller pieces so that I'm not wasting full sheets. Um, I don't even. Let's just cut it about there. Oh, I think that was right on. Yep. Huh. Right oh. Okay, so first thing I want to try is seeing if we can emboss it. Because I truly don't know if we can or can't. That might be fun to just stamp all of those on it and emboss them all. Hmm. Um, I just want to oh, come on, get out of there. Do something that's kind of pretty. We'll do those are not what I want. Okay, I want to get something out of this second drawer. That's going to be the prettier stuff. I really should start getting everything together ahead of time. Um, sure, we'll do some fairies. Why not? Okay, so let's just see here. Like I said, I just wanted to have a bit of a play and see what all we could do with vellum. I've not really played with it much. I've made like one tag and I used the vellum as like an outside to the tag. Why is this not coming out? Okay, what am I doing wrong? But I cannot get this thing. There we go. Okay. Let's get a little stamping block. And pull a little fairy, fairy, fairy off.
I don't know if this is going to work, you guys. I have never done this. But I thought it's, well, let's try it and see. Okay. Um, topiary. Sure, why not? Because it's not open. Boy, I am unprepared today. Hope you're doing well. I have finished Melissa Sue's journal. I will do a flip through of it um, and film that. I'm hoping to mail that out next week or the week after for her. We had our end day of um, I think the 31st of February or just no February or March the 31st of March. So yeah, I'm ahead of my schedule, but then I also didn't work on anything but that for a hot minute. The next journal that I make, I think is going to be the one for my niece um, from the paper that I have a photo of my sister watching me um, go through that paper album. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that photo that's going to be the topper. I really miss my sister. Well, okay. It appears that we can stamp vel or uh, emboss onto this paper. That's awesome. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's a plus. We can do that. Let's see what else we can do. So let's see here. Mm. I wonder. I wonder. Let me. I need to find something I can. These are sticky stamps, you guys. I think I'm going to put them this way down because those are super, super sticky stamps. Okay, let me see if I've got something. Sure, we've used these before. I want to try and see if we can watercolor on this. That's where we're headed next, just to see if we can do it. Because I don't know. I want to get some verse, no, archival ink. Because that is waterproof. I don't want brown. Let's do the black. Black soot. It is Ranger Archival Ink. As you know, I like to stamp onto the stamps with the ink pad in all four directions because I know I don't press down evenly. I'm going to give that just a moment to take because I don't know how the stamp is going to react with this vellum paper. Oh, I like that. I wonder how long it takes to dry because it looks like it's still a little bit wet. Yeah, that's still wet. Oh, I like that. That'll be fun to...
that will be fun to just stamp onto and cut around even. Yeah. I believe these are probably just stamps I got from Timu. Yeah, they look like they're a Timu stamp set. I'm talking about Timu or Temu, as the commercials say. I'm talking about Timu. All right, is that still wet? Yes. Interesting. Well, we're just going to do this to take that ink off. Right, I'm going to put this stuff over here. Close that up because otherwise I will end up getting myself. I already know I will. Let's get this out of here. And I'm going to just use this premium watercolor set that I got from Five Below. Let's do a little dab of water. Don't need much. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry, you guys. And we'll use some Arteza brushes, yeah? This might be a fun thing to do. I think I might like this. Stamping on vellum. Oh, yeah, baby. If it works, if this watercoloring works. How do, oh, th oh, those are sips. Arteza, not sponsored. These were a gift. Ooh, how do you get them out of there? Ooh. Okay. Ouch. What the actual heck just happened there? Oh my gosh. Did I just stab myself with a paintbrush? They've got that protective coating on them, but my God, that hurt. I got myself right there. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's use this kind of gray color for the base here. The stump. I'm really, I don't know if you guys can see me or not, so let me move up. I'm really curious to see if this works. Um, we'll grab a piece of blank paper so we can look at it in real time. That's where we can look at it in real time and see. I like that these are, well, I think these are kind of more of a pastel. Let's look. Yeah, these are more of a pastel. I was going to say, I like that these are turning into pastels on here. Yeah, they're not. It's just their pastel pen or paints, aren't they? But that's okay. They're still sweet. Let's try to get some color on here.
Well, that didn't seem much of a difference, did it, in the paper, in the color of those two? I want that to be a little darker, even though it's the underside. Oh, interesting. This paper is starting to buckle now. The vellum is starting to buckle. And it looks like it's bleeding quite a bit. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to count that as maybe not a win. Interesting. But this is all about experimentation, isn't it? Now, I have something else I want to try. I wonder if it matters the quality of the paints, too. I want to try. We're going to squirt a little bit of alcohol ink onto them. And we're going to drop a little bit of the alcohol ink onto them just to see how it reacts. Let's do a little bit of a controlled squirt. And we'll do a controlled drop. Okay. Now, let's do some distress crayon. Oh, man, that alcohol is looking great, isn't it? That might be fun to color them with. Let's see about some distress. Um, we'll just do a little swab of that. Talk about talent. Should I stamp another picture? Yeah, why not? Why not? We're having fun, right, guys? I know I've got some butterflies somewhere. That's a pretty flower. We'll do that one. I think this is me, not it, that's doing this. I'm smooshing them. I think that's my fault, not not any fault of the stamp. Okay, now. I'm just playing with different mediums here, so I just want to see. I want to get that a nice, good bluish color. Something to note is when you have to add more water to it, you're diluting the color down. So do be mindful of that. And make sure you get enough of the pigment and water on your little block or whatever you're using to mix onto 
so that you don't have that difference in coloration. I'll just try and pick these little hard bits of the crayon up. Yeah, I'm not I'm not upset with it. What I don't like though, what bothers me is that it is it is very I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is very textured now from where it's wet. I'm going to assume that the glue does that too. Um, glue will do that to vellum as well. I wonder, now that we've done alcohol, does water do anything to it? Interesting that the alcohol didn't do that. The alcohol sprays did not do that. Is that because it dries up quicker? Yeah, water doesn't do anything to it. I do like that though. That's a great way for you to play and add some colors and fun to it. Okay. Let me know what you think. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.